Okay, so I'm going to have a go at another Code Wars exercise. It's called the Supermarket Queue. There is a queue for the self-checkout tills at the supermarket. Your task is to write a function to calculate the total time required for all the customers to check out. The input is customers an array of positive integers representing the queue. Each integer represents a customer and its value is the amount of time they require to check out. N is a positive integer, the number of checkout tills. The function should return an integer the total time required. Please look at the examples below. Okay, so Q time 534 and 1 till it's going to take 5 plus 3 plus 4 which is 12 okay so that's straightforward 10 2 3 3 should return 2 because one person's going to take 10 units of time one till is going to take 10 units of time and the other till is going to take 2 3 and 3 Okay, and the third example, 2, 3, and 10, should return 12. Why doesn't it return 10? Um, okay, the first person goes to one of the tills, and the second person goes to the other till. And then the third person joins the first till after the first person's finished, because this is a queue. Yeah, so we can't push in front of the queue. Fair enough. There's only one queue serving many tills. The order of the queue never changes. Okay, so that's why the third one didn't come to 10. Um, in case that's not clear, I was wondering why we couldn't put 2 and 3 in one queue and 10 in the other queue, but that's not the way it works. This is one queue and two tills. The front person in the queue proceeds to a till as soon as it becomes free. So let's have a go at that. I think this is not difficult, but it doesn't seem completely easy. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an interray with the number of tills and I'm going to call it tills. And uh, then I'm going to have an index next customer and that's going to start off at zero and what I'm going to do I'm going to put the customer into the till array uh, and then I'm going to subtract one from them I will say while n is less than customers dot length I'm going to loop through each till and if well, I'm going to do it with the index tills at i equals zero then I'm going to put the customer the next customer in the till in the queue onto that till so tills at i equals customers at next customer plus plus so we we'll move on to the next customer If 
tells that I is empty and next customer is this some customers dot length Uh, there I meant to say next customers next customer so what I'm saying there is if there's a till empty because it's set to zero and there's a customer in the queue put the number of the customer into the till then Here I want a total time counter. I'll start that off at zero. Now the minimum time in the tills list is the minimum amount of time it's going to take for a till to become empty. So while I'm doing this loop on the tills here, I'm going to say minimum till time equals integer dot max value. And here I'm going to say min till time equals math dot min what it currently is and the value of this till. I mean, is there an easier way of doing this? Because it's a, what, a six Caillou um, exercise, and I thought that was quite easy, but maybe there is, uh, but I'm doing it this way. Um, okay, so we've got the minimum till time. Now, I'm going to loop through the tills again and subtract the minimum till time from each till and I'm going to add that to the total time. So say if we have a till with three in it and one with five in it, I'm going to make three minutes elapse. The three will go to zero, the five will go to two. So loop through the till again and tills at i minus min till time and total time plus min till time now do we have another customer waiting if we do we'll go and stick them on whatever tills they need to go on if we don't then it's just the time left the maximum till time at any till left that we need to count. So maximum till time, I'm going to initialize it to be instrument value. And I'm going to look for the tills again. This time I'm going to say maximum till time equals the maximum of what it is and the till value. And I'm going to add that onto total time and return total time. I'm really surprised because the code wars exercises that I've done so far seem to be just adding up arrays and simple things like that but this is a little bit more tricky but let's have a go at testing the solutions in the example. Okay, we've got three 
examples that they gave us and we've also got three additional examples given in unit tests that they're going to throw at it in order to see how it does uh, so I'm going to try all of those so we expect the first one to give 12 the second one to give 10 the third one to give 12 and then their unit tests gives 9, 0 and 15 I could just do a unit test but I'll just print it like that now I'm just going to run it and I'm sure I, I'm not entirely confident that it's going to work but let's see 12 10 12 9 0 15 so it's all right um but i think i'll just debug through one of them i'll debug through the 2 3 10 with two tails uh, just to explain what's happening in case it's not clear okay so we we have two tills they both have zero units of time because there's no customers at either of those tills and the next customer is zero our customers are two three ten total time is zero next customer is less than customer's length so we want to put this customer on a till and also in this loop we're going to find the minimum till time so this customer is two tills we loop to the till the first till has zero so we're going to put the customer on the till two and minimum till time now becomes two the next customer is three we're going to put him on the other till and minimum till time is now two now it's going to take because we've got two and three at the tills it's going to take two minutes for the first customer to get out of the way so after two minutes that's going to become zero and the other till is going to go down to one so i subtract subtract the minimum till time from each till and we end up with zero and one but to do that we've taken minimum till time so I add that to total time now we still have a customer he is 10 we're going to loop through the tills if we find a till with zero which the first till does we're going to put the customer at that till so now we have 10 and 1 the minimum till time equals 10 but when we look at the other till, the minimum till time is now one. So we're going to go through the tills again, subtracting the minimum till time, which is one. That's going to go down to nine. That's going to go down to zero. And the total time, we've taken another nine um, minutes or, or one minute or one, whatever the unit of time is. So we've taken three of total time. We don't have any more customers. So now we look at the tills and we see what the maximum value is, which is nine. So we get that maximum value. That's how long it's gonna take. So the queue's gone now. It's just gonna take nine more units of time, making the total time up to 12 and we return 12. So I think I'm more confident that that's right now, but, um, I'm surprised that that was a sort of level above um, what Code Wars seems to have been so far, although I've only just started on the site. But let's um, submit that and see how it does. That was quite fun, actually. I've unlocked a new privilege. 
uh, which is nice. Um, that's my solution to Code Wars Supermarket Queue. Thanks for watching.